raise your personal standards to the heavens. It's 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 one of my favorite quotes. There's a there's clips. I, I've been doing clips for the Tom Tauteroff Studio for uh, a little while now, about a year, and that's always one that I come back to, and then we'll make countless clips of because I absolutely love that line, and I think it's so important for actors, especially especially actors and performers, because we're the only ones that are held accountable for our own work. And we're the ones that have to put our stamp of approval on it. And if we want to um, make sure that we are elevating our game and making sure that all of our auditions are top notch, then we need to keep raising our standards and continuously find the things that make us uncomfortable. And, and this goes hand in hand with another quote that Tom likes to say is get comfortable being uncomfortable. Because the more uncomfortable you are, that's probably the closer you are to getting to the right beats and to the heart of the scene. Um, and like that, it makes all the difference. It because like no one owes you anything in this business. We we come out of theater school, we come out of these conservatory programs, and we think like, oh, I'm done. I've learned everything that I've needed to learn in acting. Good, ready to go. That's it. Put me but, in your movie. Put me yeah. in your movie. Put me in I'm ready to go, Brad Pitt. Let's go. Right. right. You're you're not at that level. And because as Tom likes to say again, you have paid or your parents have paid for you to be in those community theater shows, to be in those school shows. And they're also paying to see it. Um and that's the difference is now out of that environment, out of that place, you are now put into a different category with people that have been acting for money for either a long period of time or a short period of time. And that changes who you are as a performer. And the more you grasp the idea of no one owes you anything and you are your own um, way to elevate your own auditions and if it comes from inside you that drive that's termination it comes from inside you and the more you give into that and the more you let that show in each and every audition the more you're not going to be forgettable the more that people are going to take notice of who you are write down that name no you may not get the next three auditions right now but they're going to remember who you are because you made choices and you're someone that is fighting to get better each and every single day. Right. Yeah. I love that. Elevate your, or raise your standards to the heaven. And Tom, Tom's is someone who constantly is uh, living that and uh, calling us out on that. So mm -hmm. it's things, things like your prep. Did you, did you um, properly prep? Do you, do you know exactly what you're saying and why you're saying it? Uh, even your setup, your wardrobe, um, are you ready to rock? Are you camera ready? Uh, did you make all these small little choices that speak before you? Uh, and I think that that informs your life outside of acting as well as just constantly raising your standards um, and and expecting and demanding the best from you. Because a lot of in, in life, it's like, and, and especially in acting, I think a lot of people they're trying to get the most by doing the least and people mm -hmm. take shortcuts and they want to save money by not taking classes and they want to save money by not uh, getting professional headshots. Um, and they're trying to take all these shortcuts when really it should be going deeper and deeper and putting more and more of yourself into things and mm -hmm. raising your standards higher and higher and higher. Um, and I think that's a formula for success uh, in all avenues of life, in your relationships, in your career, in your finances. Thank you.